again folks. Today we're going to look at my little shooting, I suppose challenge is the best word I can describe it as. Just to make it a little bit more interesting than just knocking over a couple of targets, which is always fun. Or just shooting at paper targets. And certainly more than just part zeroing the rifle for doing it properly at a later date elsewhere when you go a bit more distance to the targets. Now this challenge that I've come up with, it's going to change again soon, as soon as I get one more target, I want something different. So if anybody's got any good ideas for different targets and not the exploding ones as much as I'd like to use one of those, not indoors, they're just far too messy, far too loud and far too, well, powerful really for indoors. If they're perhaps half the size or maybe one of those ones that hold blanks, that might not be so bad. But they're quite big. But anyway, any ideas for a, an unusual target that's perhaps better suited to less powered air rifles and mainly air pistols, so like CO2 power levels like two, three, four pound, let me know below. So first up, you select the air rifle of your choice, what you fancy having to play with on the day, or indeed air pistol. Although some of these probably ain't gonna go down with air pistol, if anything, of shooting at the magnetic box with the Webley last year is anything to go by. So you warm up on this bog standard target, put a new piece of paper up, dot or a ring, shoot at that, warm up with the air rifle of your choice. Six yards for certainly say six and seven foot pound air rifles. With the sort of ten and a half to just under twelve foot pound, you I'm probably gonna have to stand back right back. But initially I'll lie down, six yards, most stable position, shoot, warm up, and the meat here that I've been on about, is uh, it wanders a little bit. I, I don't want to mess with the sight. Yeah, I think you've only got uh, elevation anyway, but there's a little bit of adjustment on the rear sight, but it's so close at six yards, and it does move around a bit. It tends to start about nine o'clock, where you can see here, actually. So it like starts there, and it tends to warm up a little bit if you shoot fairly fast, and it starts to get a little bit higher, and then it starts to zero quite nicely after that. Some of the, all these were taken with that from uh, six yards standing, mostly. So when it's warmed up, we start the competition, if you like, the challenge. It starts with the bell target. You can see the scores. The easiest one on the left, five points, over to the small one here, which is worth 25 points. That is, as I call this uh, stage, if you like, biathlon, which stands to reason, I suppose. One shot at each target and a total of all the shots. Nothing fancy, nothing extra. What you hit is what you score. Moving down to the bell target, one shot only, worth 25 points, as it says there, when I was... Uh, in the early stages of planning, I've just made a note. Then we come down to the paper target. Specifically, this style of paper target, 10 meter NSRA air pistol target. And the way I score it, I think it's pretty well, shall we say, the norm sort of scoring. Center, the center ball there, the very, very small one there. If you clip the line of that, or better, track in the middle, 11 points. The next one out is 10, 9 ring, 8, 7, 6, 5, and so on. If you clip the ring, you score in. The maximum you can score with that one is 111. <music> Lastly, at the moment, until I find another suitable target to add to the right of the paper target holder, is the spinner. Five points per target, but this one is timed. You've got three minutes to clear all nine, and you can have as many shots as you like. However, if you time out without clearing the spinner by knocking all the targets over, there is a penalty of minus 50 points. If you do manage to clear them, it's an extra bonus on top of whatever you've knocked over of 50 points. The grand total for all of this silliness <laughs> is 426 and my best effort totals 245 <laughs> and folks the idea is over the next two or three months when i can fit them in we're going to be having a look at my air rifle collection and air pistol collection although some of the targets won't be really good for those and just to give you a little bit of a tease the oldest one is from 1921 
and the newest one is about two weeks old. See you again soon.